Okay, so in the previous video, I answered this question using the mathematical formula. But let's say that you were not asked to show any of the calculations um, to, to work out the entire mathematical solution, and all you were really asked to do was to find the standard deviation from a given list. And all you need to do is find the answer, the final answer. Well, with Excel, it's extremely easy to do this. You would just start typing in a couple of letters for standard deviation. And as you can see, it's already offering me up a few different options. And the two that you want to pay attention to are the ones that say stdev.p and stdev.s. Well, the .p stands for population standard deviation, and the .s one stands for the sample standard deviation. So if it is a sample that you're working with, then you would use .s, and if it is a population you're working with, then you'd use .p. Uh, because as we discussed, there is a slight difference um, in the two formulas. So the one that you see here, uh, s equals the square root of the squared differences divided by n minus 1, that is your sample standard deviation. And you'll notice that my the population standard deviation formula differs very little from that. And the only difference is that you would divide by the entire n rather than just n minus 1. So just the difference here is mainly that's your sample standard deviation and the population standard deviation is almost the same. It's sigma that we use to represent the population standard deviation. And we still want to take each and every data value and subtract the population mean. So notice there's another difference just in the symbol. They're calculated the same way. But if it's coming from a sample, it's X bar. If it's coming from a population, we use the Greek letter mu to represent the mean. And then instead of develop, dividing by N minus 1 or the sample size minus 1, the entire population size would be used to calculate the population standard deviation. So that's really the only difference in the two possible types of questions you could get about standard deviation as far as the formula goes. And that's the reason that you have a dot S and a dot P. So for this one, because it says find the sample standard deviation, I'm going to use dot S. I double clicked on that. And I'm just going to select my data points, my data values, and press enter. And it's as simple as that. So if you don't have to actually work out the formula, as you can see, it's quite quick and easy to do this. We're 